this video a few weeks ago but sometimes it takes me some time to really collect my thoughts and kind of examine I guess my perspective on things and what's going on but in this video you can see um, these people screaming and yelling at this man whose uh, son was taken away from him well, he lost the custody battle of his son, um, and his wife was trying tr to transition him into being a girl, as a transgender girl. Um, and he was against that, and rightly so. It's, it's child abuse. Um, but the courts, I guess, went in the favor of the moms, uh, and so he lost custody of his son. And so he thought, you know what? Well, I'm going to try to do what I can to help prevent this from happening. So I want to run for, uh, I think it was the Texas State Senate or Congress. Um, and so he was at this university trying to give a speech and you can see these people yelling and screaming at him and cussing at him and spitting on him. And you know, there's so many conservative commentators or political commentators out there today that will say like, yes, this is a mental health issue, or um, it's a psychological issue, or, you know, they've been indoctrinated with all these lies, and I absolutely believe that they have been indoctrinated with all these lies, but it goes much deeper than just your, your brain or your actions. It goes to the core of the very person you are, which is uh, a sinner before an infinitely holy God. And so... Um, if it weren't for the restraint of the Holy Spirit, I mean, we all would have the potential to just do the most wicked and evil and vile things. And so I, I don't want to see people ridicule these people because we were once one of them, right? We were once dead in trespasses and sin. And that's what these people are. And you're not going to be able to win them over by logic or reason um, or even apologetics. Uh, this is a spiritual problem. This is a heart problem. And so many people don't realize that today. It is a spiritual problem. And it needs to be confronted with the gospel. The gospel. There's power in the gospel. We need to be sharing the gospel with these people. And, you know, people are ridiculing these people in the comment section on these videos and stuff. And it's like, you guys, where is the love? Where is the love for these people? Where is um, grace and mercy and patience towards these people? Because we all have the potential to be that way too. We are sinners. And so I, I just want to say, you know, if you know anybody out there like that who has been affected by this woke ideology, 
They need the gospel. That's their problem. That is their main problem, is that they are dead in their sins. So what would you expect a sinner to do? What would you expect a sinner to do who is dead in their sins, but to rebel and sin against God? So, that's just my thoughts. When you see these videos online, just pray for these people. Um, pray for them that God would draw them to himself and that he would grant them repentance and grant them genuine saving faith and that his gospel message would continue to go forward and touch these people's lives that's what they need they don't need to be shamed they don't need to be ridiculed frankly you're not going to be able to win anybody over with a scientific or a logical uh or a psychological argument because even Jesus himself said in, in Luke chapter 16 in the uh, parable of the rich man and Lazarus, he said, you know, that even if someone were to rise from the dead, they still will not believe. If they were to see somebody rise from the dead, we are that depraved that they would still not believe. And so just remember you know what Father Abraham said in that parable to the rich man? He said, they have Moses and the prophets, meaning they have the scripture themselves. Let them hear them. And if they will not hear Moses and the prophets, they will not believe, even if someone were to rise from the dead. So just remember the gospel, guys. Get the gospel out. That's what we need. Um, I know I was going to do a video about repentance, but... This is one of the main videos I wanted to do because I saw this video a few weeks ago and I wanted to comment on it, but I needed to make sure that I had a clear head because um, it, it's disturbing and it's it's frankly, it, it, it saddens me. It really saddens me to see people in this state and you know, I was once there too. So, all right, that's all I got right now. Um, I'm going to be coming out with a video on repentance. I want to do another Instagram live here shortly so I can talk about that because I want to get back to doing that. Um, anyways, yeah, pray for these people. All right. Love you guys so much. Bye.